when you read something in a newspaper, you read about a disaster, and it can really affect you. You can feel very angry and upset, but that is nothing compared to how you would feel if you actually saw the incident with your own eyes. Parshaki Tisa is about the power of seeing things with your own eyes. When the people saw that Moses had delayed in coming down from the mountain, they realized that they didn't have him anymore in front of their eyes. They missed him. They could not see him and thus, like a baby, did not trust that he would come back. Like a baby, the people needed a transitional object. They needed something to represent Moses so that they would believe that he was still there. So they asked Moses' brother Aaron to make them a god, a golden calf, that would not replace God, but would replace their leader Moses. Aaron, of course, does not think this is a good idea. He thinks it's a terrible idea. But he doesn't say so. Instead, asks them to participate in such a way that he hopes will dissuade them from the plan. He asks their wives, their sons, and their daughters to give up their earrings and to use the earrings to make the calf. He's probably thinking, why would they want to give up their precious belongings? They, they'll think it's not worth it. Well, the opposite happens. Not only do the wives, sons, and daughters give up their earrings, but the Torah says that the entire people donated their earrings to the cause. So Aaron takes these earrings and melts them and makes the golden calf. The next day, the people have a big celebration. They make sacrifices and offerings, and they dance and revel in front of the golden calf. And for once, they feel safe, they feel secure. Their representation of Moses is in front of them, and they no longer have to miss him. Meanwhile, God looks down and sees what's happening, and God is absolutely furious. God tells Moses that God's going to basically start all over and destroy these people. Moses, who has not seen the action with his own eyes, has a little bit more perspective on it. He realizes it's terrible, but he doesn't feel the full tragedy of what's happened. He's able to think more rationally and ask God to try to have a little perspective about it. This is an incident. It's a single incident. He asks God to remember God's promise to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and to take a much more long-range perspective on history. God listens to Moses and agrees not to destroy the people. So now it's Moses' turn to go down. This time, Moses sees with his own eyes the people dancing around this golden calf. And Moses is absolutely furious. He is so angry at the sight of the revelry and the people dancing with the calf that he takes the tablets, the covenant between God and the people, and he smashes them to pieces annihilating the relationship between God and the people. Moses finally calms down, his anger subsides, and he eventually is able to pray to God on the people's behalf. But it doesn't take away from his initial reaction of pure anger when he sees what's happening. It is really the act of seeing something with your own eyes that causes such a deep emotional reaction. It is the people not seeing Moses that makes them want to create the calf. It is seeing the calf that makes the people feel more secure and not need Moses anymore. It is God seeing the people dancing around the calf that makes God so angry. And of course, it is Moses seeing the people that makes him smash the tablets.